babysitting. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going out for the evening. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are going to babysit. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Donkey Pig! Papa Pig! Hello, my little ones. Hello. Pepper, George, into your beds, quick. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Sleep tight. Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. <coughs> what little darlings! <coughs> Now go to sleep quickly. Yes, Mummy. So well behaved. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are leaving for their evening out. Pepper and George are so good. They just fell asleep when Mummy Pig told them to. This babysitting is easy. George, George, are you awake? <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> What strange noises! I wonder if we should check upstairs. <laughs> Well, I never. Fast asleep. So it wasn't Pepper and George making all that noise. I can't hear anything. I think they really have fallen asleep. Let's watch some television. Gardening. Today we are talking about roses. Oh. I love gardening programs. The gift gate is a particularly thorny rose. To prune it, start by lopping off the head, and then snip away the budding shoots. Granny Pig, Pepper, George, you should be in bed asleep. George and I aren't sleepy at all. Can we watch TV with you? Well, I suppose watching a little TV might make you sleepy. Hooray! <laughs> Icelandic roses are a rare treat for the discerning horticulturalist, but they are prone to lobbing in temperate habitats. Hmm, this program is very boring. Hmm, Grandpa Pig, can you play that game where he throws up and catches? Okay, but just one turn each. <laughs> Whee! Oh, 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 you seem heavier than before. <coughs> Now it's George's turn. Whee! <laughs> My turn. Whee! <laughs> higher, higher. <coughs> Maybe Grandpa Pig is a bit tired. I know. <coughs> Granny Pig, let's play catch. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are back home. I hope our little piggies are asleep. Hello, anyone here? <laughs> the little piggies are asleep, and so are the big piggies. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is going to her first ballet lesson. This is Madame Gazelle, the ballet teacher. Ah ho! You must be young Pepper. I am Madame Gazelle. Hello, Madame. No, oh, so sweet. Welcome to your first lesson of the ballet. <laughs> I'll pick you up later. 
Bye bye. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends: Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit, and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Children, today we have a new pupil: Peppa Pig. Now, Peppa, run and join your friends. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> we begin with Demi Plié. Demi Plié. Now a little jump. Petit jeté. With grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. Petit jeté. Grace and beauty. The ballet lesson is a lot of fun. Raise your arms. Imagine that you are beautiful swans. And what noise do you think a swan might make? Meow. Nay. Oh. Grace and beauty. Peppa loves dancing. Everyone loves dancing. <laughs> mummy, mummy, we all danced to swans. Peppa did very well. I had to dance beautifully and gracefully. That's lovely. Can I show you how I did it? Let's get home first. Then you can show Daddy Pig and George and me. Bye bye. <laughs> Peppa and Mummy Pig are home. <laughs> Daddy George, I'm going to show you how to do ballet. Is it difficult? It was easy for me, but you, George, and Mummy will find it very hard. <laughs> First, we need music. Good. Now, George, Daddy, and Mummy, you must copy what I do. Madame Gazelle used funny words. But really, it's just bending your knees and jumping. Ah, the petit jeté. Daddy, you know the funny words. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I used to be quite good at ballet. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Our favourite was the pas de deux. That wasn't quite how I remembered it. <laughs> Silly Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, maybe we should leave the ballet to Pepper. Yes, I am the best at it. I am a beautiful swan. <laughs> <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are having a picnic. Here's some orange juice for you, Teddy. What do you say? Thank you very much, Pepper. You are very welcome, Teddy. Here's some orange juice for you, Mr. Dinosaur. And what do you say? Grrr. You are very welcome, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Would Teddy or Mr. Dinosaur like a cookie? We're not very hungry, so Peppa and George can eat all the cookies. Thank you, Teddy. <laughs> what was that strange noise? Peppa, George, quick, come inside the house. Mummy, there was a loud bang sound. <laughs> 
clouds. It's thunder, Pepper. It means there will be a thunderstorm with lots of rain. Quick, into the house before the rain starts. <laughs> no need to panic. The rain is still a long way off. The sky is getting darker and darker. There is going to be a thunderstorm. Pepper, George, did you bring all your toys in from the garden? Dinosaur. Good. Mr. Dinosaur is safe. Teddy, I left Teddy in the garden. He'll get wet. Don't worry, Pepper. Daddy Pig will rescue Teddy. You'd better hurry, Daddy Pig. It's just about to rain. I know all about thunderstorms. It won't rain for ages. <laughs> As I thought, plenty of time before it rains. <laughs> Yes, poor Teddy. Let's get him dry. Poor Teddy. <laughs> There you are, Teddy. All dry. <laughs> ah, chew. What about poor Daddy? I'm soaking wet too. Oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. Let's get you dry. <laughs> <laughs> There you are, Daddy Pig. Nice and dry. Oh. The rain is coming in the house. The floor is getting wet. Oh dear! What can we do, Daddy Pig? Don't worry. Daddy Pig is using a bucket to catch the drips. Well done, Daddy Pig. Easy as pie. Eh? What? <gasps> Quick! Find something else to catch the water. Well done, Pepper. Easy as pie. <laughs> Mummy, the thunder bags are very loud. It's okay, children. Don't be frightened. Let's count between each flash and bang. The higher we can count, the further away the thunderstorm is. One, two, three. That's three. One, One two, two, three, four, five. five. That's five. The thunderstorm is going away. The thunderstorm is over. Hooray! The thunderstorm has filled the garden with muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I love thunderstorms. They make muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splash. <laughs>